English Tim here. Today we are looking at your battle statistics and how can you improve them. So this video targets stronghold levels sort of from 16 up to the late 20s, maybe up to 30, and uh, it assumes that you haven't got a full set of the power items that I'm about to go through. So if you have, please check out my later videos on how to upgrade items rather than on uh, getting the uh, most powerful items to start with. Now, if you've been in any battles recently, you may have spotted that uh, your stats are shown after you show your result of the battle, and you can, uh, you can check those out and see how you did in comparison with the person that you were fighting. So where you have a green up arrow, that means your stats were stronger, and a red down arrow means you are weaker. So it might be an area that it points out where you can make further improvements. So to get hold of the uh, parts that you require for power items, which will give you the biggest boost to your stats in the quickest, shortest period of time, you need to uh, make use of the monthly shop event. There's a festival event once a month, which normally starts at the beginning of a month, once your kingdom has been around a sufficient amount of time. And if you take part in the challenges here, you can see that from uh, improving things like Dragon Emblem scores and uh, spending Lucky Shot coins and there's plenty of other events, you can see some other videos on, on the festival event. Actually, if you check out Best Games, he's got a lot of good videos on the festival events. Then what you can do is um, spend the tokens that you win from the event in the shop to buy some of the most powerful crafting ingredients and you can get a lot of them. So this is a brilliant way of uh, ramping up your stats really quickly. However, there is a long time between each of these festival events, so what you want to do is make sure you're building up all of these items in the meantime. And you can get hold of a lot of them by, uh, even as a free-to-player, just uh, daily, uh, daily grinding. So I will take you through now how to get hold of more of these items between the festival shop events. So if you've got your stronghold up to level 16, it will activate the crystal mines. And once you've managed to clear the crystal mines up to level 10, if you go to the store, the Spire Loot Store, it will open up the ability to purchase two Black Horn of Skin each day. Now you know, yeah, so you may not know what that means, but these are powerful pieces towards uh, building a, uh, a top level artifact. And at 1000 crystals for each one, that's an amazingly cheap price. So you need 200 of these items to be able to craft a, uh, an artifact. Now in the newer version of the game, the artifacts are showing here, so you may still see it in the uh, waterfall in the center of your city. So you can see the artifacts here. If you click, this is one of the free ones that I received at, uh, in my first few weeks. And if I was collecting, uh, if I had enough of the uh, artifacts here for, uh, for upgrading the tome, you can see once I get to 200, I can increase my stats from 45 to 200. So it's a really powerful increase. Now also in the Crystal Mines, you can get hold of two of the uh, Wildfire Ascendant Scrolls. Now these are hero weapons. Again, you should buy these every single day, two per day, as soon as you're able to. And you can uh, equip hero weapons if you go now to, in the new version to the Central Hero Council and Hero Weapons. Then that will allow you to construct the second most powerful weapon, which is uh, the, uh, the Wildfire set. So you can see that will improve your, your stats by up to 172 for, uh, for your level 1 version compared to the free items, which may start off at around 20 to 50, something like that. So you can see that's another major boost. Now, all of these power items can be upgraded as well, so uh, they're a great massive first boost with the ability to go further later. Now, if you go to the exchange, which is now located here near the center of your city, and Alchemist Corner, and then if you go to the trial shop, you can see the apocalyptic statue arcanas available. Now these, you can get seven every other day, so you can get three and a half per day at a cost of 500 coins. And again, that's uh, reasonably expensive, but it is um, it is a very powerful item, and in my opinion, very much worth purchasing. Now once you reach 200 of these items, and once your stronghold reaches level 20, you are able to go to here, and your prestige statues will open. From here, you can then uh, create a uh, put the apoc apocalyptic eagle and other sets of items. So for each version, you can get four statues. So for 200 uh, arcana, you can get four statues, and the stats can be a great boost from around 7% for the free items, which start out, up to 115% for uh, 
for uh, once you've upgraded to uh, the ap apocalyptic version you only need four sets of four so once you've done that you will have maxed out the highest level items you can get for statues so the portal allows you to uh, attack to get um, lets your alliance work together to attack a monster and if you've donated to the portal dust like so then you do get the share a share of the most important prizes so if you go to system and uh, then you can check out the rewards that you've received from defeating the uh, the um, whatever monster it is that you're attacking we were attacking the lava giant you can see i got seven scarlet drake emblem manuscripts in addition to all these other prizes so it's a really great event for getting hold of rewards and seven of those you can get every two to three days, something like that. And um, with those, you can uh, build a new emblem for your dragon. So if you go to your dragon, you can then go to dragon emblem, and you'll see that you can uh, upgrade to what is the second best version of the uh, of these um, emblems. So you can see I can get up to 250% on uh, on all three of my uh, main stats compared to the uh, the free items, which maybe only be. 17 and a half or even less on some I believe so you should also hunt barbarians so every time your stamina bar gets uh, gets up you should never really try and let it get to a hundred you should attack barbarian and once you've done that you can get hold of dis destruction ingots so I find I've got them between 15 and 30 percent of the time I will get destruction ingots you'll go through patterns where you get a lot and then not very many at all that's just unfortunately statistics for you so if you go to reports and rally rewards and here you can see that I received a destruction ingot you can also get the basic battle ingots so if you didn't get the free dis, uh, death seeker armor when you were starting out then you can use these battle basic battle ingots to produce a lower level armor and you can also use those to produce some uh, other uh, support armor which is very beneficial please check out my video on types of armor and that uh, shows you some of the other types of armor you can get now 100 destruction ingots will allow you to uh, create the most powerful armor available in the game so if you go to your armory, which has now moved to uh, down at the bottom of the city here, if you go to armory, and if you go to destruction, you can see that you can get armor which has some really great 100 plus percent stats on it. So uh, that's again the best uh, best sets available in the game, and you can get them for free by attacking barbarians on a regular basis. So one thing I've noticed, there's no way to get hold of gems through a sort of daily grind. Uh, the only way you can get hold of these higher level gems is to take part in events. So the gold event, for example, commonly has gems in the prizes. So you'll see here that you can get the arcana required to create gems. Uh, but yes, I haven't found anything daily, so you'll just have to work through the events, or you are able to generally buy the arcana during the festival event shops. So uh, you can see here that you're able to get the dream arcana and advanced dream arcana from here. So this video has covered the the basic first attempts to get hold of the higher level armor and I uh, say these are really great ways of getting really good boost to your stats. Please check out my other videos for how to uh, how to go on from there. There are other ways of improving your, improving your stats without applying these power items and I will cover those in my later videos. So if you are enjoying my content please hit that subscribe button otherwise I look forward to you joining me on my next video.